Hey everyone, I'm Premier Gal, and welcome back to another episode of Editor's Essentials. Now, if you use the Editor's Keys Premier Pro CC shortcut skin on your MacBook Pro, or you have an Editor's Keys Premiere Pro CC shortcut keyboard that you use with your Mac or PC, you may be familiar with several shortcuts already just by looking at the keys. But some of the shortcuts I will show you in this tutorial are hidden shortcuts. So let's get into it. So here I have four clips on top of each other here in my timeline. If I want to cut them all at the playhead here at once, rather than pressing C on my keyboard to activate the razor tool and cutting each layer individually like so, which takes a long time, you can hit the shift key on your keyboard and hold it and cut at the playhead and it does them all at once. Often when I edit, I need to use the same graphic or title multiple times. So rather than copying and pasting the graphic again, or dragging a template from the Essential Graphics panel and dragging it back into the timeline. What I do instead is I select that graphic, hold the Alt Option key and drag and release to duplicate the clip. Let's say you wanna cut a section of a clip in your timeline. So you make the two cuts and then you select the clip you want to delete and then you press the delete key. But then you're left with this gap between the two clips. So you can select that empty space and hit delete and it will move the two clips together. But there is a shortcut. When you select the clip and you wanna delete, first hold the Alt Option key and then press delete. And it will automatically bring the two clips together, which is pretty awesome. As you start filling out your cut, your timeline can get quite large. So if you need to shift over a bunch of clips in your timeline, you don't wanna to have to zoom out and then lasso and select everything after that clip. Instead, you can hit A on your keyboard to activate the track select tool, then click at the clip you want to start the selection going to the right and move everything over. In Premiere Pro, there is a shortcut to open up your keyboard shortcuts panel. On a Mac, press the Alt key plus Command plus K to open up the keyboard shortcuts. And here you can customize your keyboard shortcuts or update them to something you find more useful. For example, if you want to be able to change the speed of a clip in your timeline, you can search for the speed application shortcut here. And you can see that the default shortcut is Command R on my Mac. So instead of that, I'm gonna try S. And if that shortcut is already taken or in use, it'll give you a warning below. So I'm gonna try something new, how about Alt S? And that works, so now you can use that shortcut. So I'd highly encourage you all to get familiar with your Premiere Pro keyboard shortcuts. It'll help you edit faster. And if you have any keyboard shortcuts that you'd love, I'd love to know about them. Please let me know in a comment below. And if this video helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you're notified when we publish new videos on this channel. And I will see you guys next time for an episode of Editor's Essentials. And we're going to be talking about how to build essential graphics inside of Premiere Pro's Essential Graphics panel. See you guys then, bye.